Hey, welcome to the channel, More Dirt, More Distance. I really been thinking about getting a portable fridge. I think it'd be nice to take out on the long weekends, even if you're just doing a cookout at the park. It's just nice to be able to store food without having the hassles of a cooler. And if the cooler, the ice takes up so much space and it makes the food soggy because the ice is melting and the price of them has come down so much that uh, I was thinking this might be a good time uh, to give one a try. Now, I'm watching all over YouTube and all the big overlanders talk about the Dometic refrigerators. So I looked into that and uh, they are just really expensive. $1,100, $1,200, $1,400 for a small portable fridge. And I don't know if it's worth it. And I was thinking, should I make that kind of investment in a portable refrigerator and I would lean towards yes if I was a hardcore serious overlander where it's going to be plugged in you know a week or two at a time running 24 7 having to put up with you know going over bumpy trails and and everything but that's just not me that's not what I'm going to be using it for uh, I'll be doing long weekend trips I'll be doing out and back trips maybe have it for tailgating. So it only needs to run, you know, for a few days at a time. And when it's not doing that, it's gonna be sitting in the basement. So I decided I don't wanna invest $1,200 in a portable fridge if I didn't have to. So I started looking and I found a good deal on Amazon for a bodega portable fridge. It's dual zone. It has a freezer and a refrigerator section. It's 60 liters and it was $460. And there was a $65 coupon, so we're spied in at $395. So it's a third of the price of the high-end freezer. And if it works for what I need, that is great. So I'm going to take this out of the box and see what I got. The Bodega T60 is a 60-liter portable fridge that can run off a 12-volt or 120-volt power. The dimensions are 28 and a half inches long, 14.1 inches wide, and 21.6 inches high, and weighs 37 and a half pounds. It has dual zones for fresh or frozen food. If you don't want two zones, you can remove the divider. Now let's see how to operate this thing. Short press the power button to turn it on long press to turn it off. Press the plus and minus button to control the temperature of each zone. Press the settings button to choose between eco energy saving or max fast cooling modes. Long press the settings button to choose between three battery protection modes. Eight should be set when the refrigerator is connected to car power and L or M should be set when it's connected to a portable battery. Press and hold the plus and minus signs simultaneously to turn off or on the left zone. Remove the divider. The lower screen should now be off. To change the display from Celsius to Fahrenheit, turn off the fridge and then long press the settings button until it displays E1. Press the settings button until it displays E5. Press the plus or minus button to select Celsius or Fahrenheit. 
Now let's see how long it takes to cool down. I'm going to set the freezer side to 0 degrees Fahrenheit and the refrigerator side to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. While it's cooling down, I'll connect the app. There is a QR code in the user manual that you can use to download the app for iOS or Android. Press start scanning fridge. The fridge name should come up. Select it and you're good to go. Now all the basic fridge functions can be monitored and controlled through the app. Both zones have now reached their temperature setting. It took 15 minutes for the left side to get to 40 degrees. It took 43 minutes for the right side to get to 0 degrees. Now to test it out, I'm going to put this frozen meat in the freezer side and see if it stays that way. It's the next day, let's see if it's still frozen. Everything's working correctly, let's see how it fits in the back of the gladiator. Well, out of the box, it's working really well. It's controlling both zones and maintaining the temperature. But the true test is going to come over the summer when I'm actually out there on the trails and using it camping. I'm going to make sure to provide an update later on. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss it.